Windows 10 on a $35 computer? Yes, thanks to the work by some absolute geniuses, we can now run full Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi. The early versions were quite buggy, but with the new drivers released this February, we now have USB and Ethernet connections working. So, is it time to adopt the Pi and bring your chunky PC under the hammer? Well, not quite. Let's see why. Installing Windows 10 to your SD card is relatively easy. First, you'll need to download an image of Windows 10 suitable for the Pi. Go to this link and fill in the selections as you see on the screen. Click on the first download link that appears. Now run the CMD file that you just downloaded. This will compile the Windows 10 image and should take around 30 minutes to an hour depending on your internet connection. After this is done, download the .fd file from the link in the description. The last thing to download is the file containing the drivers. Now download Windows on Raspberry Imager. Pop your SD card in your computer and run the program. Select your SD card. Browse to the location where the CMD file downloaded Windows and select the file. Then select the driver file you downloaded. Now select the .fd file you downloaded. Finally, change the configuration from Windows Imaging to WinLib. The image will now start writing to the SD card. This process will take around 1 to 3 hours depending on your SD card's speed. Once the installation finishes, pop in your SD card to the Pi and plug in a keyboard. Press Escape as it boots up to access the BIOS. Go to Device Manager, then to Raspberry Pi Configuration. Go to Chipset Configuration and change the CPU clock to Max. Also change the USD routing to Arasan. Reboot the Pi and go to Boot Maintenance Manager. And then Boot Options. Change the boot order so that the Pi boots to the SD card. And there you go, the beautiful Windows logo appears. On the first boot, you'll have to go through the regular setup. Windows 10 is now up and running. Of course, you'll be limited by the SD card and the maximum write and read speed will be around 10 megabytes per second. So don't throw out that $500 PC of yours just yet. However, it is incredible that we are witnessing full Windows 10 running on a $35 single board computer. And even better, it's not just something to marvel at. There are several ways in which you could use this Windows 10 Pi. One of the most suggested ways is to use it as a low power and thus low cost Steam downloader. You could just leave this thing up and running and download your entire Steam library without seeing crazy hikes in your electricity bill. Or if you're a student, you could install Word and use it as a dedicated writing station. Thank you for watching DialPixel. Subscribe for more content like this. If you have any question, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and to share this video if you found it useful. And as always guys, keep dialing pixels.